Hello and welcome. Uh, now, I was going to say very good morning. However, it has just turned 12 o'clock. So I can't say that. Now, what's the purpose of this video? Well, it's a few things. Now, uh, weeks, yeah, it's not weeks, it's months. I had my assessment uh, for DWP and it was a video call. And in that, we're going to, we're going to cut across a few different subjects now i was born in newcastle upon tyne in a place called benwell now benwell um is a normal ordinary estate there are lots of different estates in newcastle some are well some aren't and one of the things when I was a lot younger was this. Because um, we lived in the south part of Benwell. And uh, there was a, a shopping centre. And that shopping centre is no more. They knocked it down and rebuilt it. And the places where I first went to school was Atkinson Road and then I've, I've moved basically everywhere across Newcastle itself and Gated. I've lived in many different places so many different places I haven't got fingers and toes to cover every single place I've lived but I was first born and because I was first born um, I was born in April makes me an Aries and Aries sometimes can be a pain in the ass well I was no different however One of the things I didn't know at the time was this. I had no inkling at all on these things. Now, I didn't realise that you could be born with an ailment. I had no idea, no clue. I hadn't even got to school. Do you know what I mean? And my mum, she had something called rheumatoid arthritis in her late 50s going on. Now, I had a, a thing which is uh, I went to a doctor's. Why? Because... I'd had a pain both sides of here. Now at the time, I was a driver. Uh, I love my job. However, this pain wouldn't go away. So I went to see the doctor and this is what I explained in my interview when I was asked to do something and I couldn't do it. And I've done a lot of investigating into this. A lot. What I found out is this.
because my mum, she had rheumatoid arthritis, it gives you like a, it's a purple effect, right? Now, as most of you know, I play guitar. Now, here's what you don't know. Here's what you can't see. Okay. Now, recently, uh, was it last month? Yeah, it was last month. I went to see my local doctor in another village. And I said to her, right there, that is like a bar. Okay. And that, which is the opposite to that, yeah, there's nothing there. So when I asked the, the doctor about that, she touched it and it, it, it's just like somebody stuck a steel bar straight through. Now, wh why that's important is this. When you're playing guitar, you use that to strum and you use this to go up and down the fretboard. Yeah? Now, there, all the way across there, yeah? I have, not every day, no, I have like a, a dark purple and it comes up to here, okay? So, the arthritis, which was here, has expanded. Because from here to here, it's travelled. And this is what I explained in my video call with Department of Works and Pensions. What I also explained on that call was this. These are my old glasses. Yeah, these. Now, the lace lady in that call, this box is from Goggles for You, UK. There's two different brands. You got the American one, which is Goggles for You. Now, these are the exact prescription after them them ones because I went to a place now these are my new ones so I can see everything crystal clear yeah this that's from spec savers why because family told me to go there now look at the price for two pairs of glasses. So, many people said to me at the time, they should have took you to the NHS glasses. They didn't. That's the honest answer. They didn't. They took me over and I picked the cheapest pair I could get. Now, this lady on the PIP interview, what she said to me was this. Get these ones, which I'm wearing now. And I did. I followed that advice. And I thanked her very much for it. Now, one of the things going backwards in time to very early life. What I didn't know 
I never knew was this. Scoliosis. And I'd never heard of the word. Family did speak to me about it. Yes, that is true. Because a member of the family had to go in to have corrective surgery. But what I want to explain to you is this. At that time in my life, the place where I worked, I had... Uh, I had a person at work that couldn't stand my guts and there's a reason why he couldn't stand my guts because this video is going to YouTube and at that specific time in my life I was doing promotion videos that was for an American company which was kind of next door in America to the Green Road. And he didn't like that. He didn't like the fact that I was doing what I was doing. So I was on the naughty boy list at work. Now getting back to... Scoliosis. Here's the thing. In the middle of my spine, like I said to Mike, who is my physiotherapist, it feels as though I have a clamp right in the middle. And if I move in certain directions, it does that and having spoken to three different doctors about it there's nothing that could be done I'm thinking at the end of the day when family spoke to me about it because somebody was having surgery Everything that was going on at that specific time pushed it to one side because I was trying to deal with what was happening at my employer. And when I speak about that, it's, it's going to be a dirty word, a very dirty word. But that's covered in another video that's called Dirty little secrets and it's this bullying now I've always stood up to bullies yeah I have now when I've stood up to bullies these shake and tremble yeah they do but here's the thing I still stand there and that's my point you see bullying at work I found out is actually outlawed and when I was finally booted out the door I went up to the West Road Job Centre. It's no longer a job centre. No. See, even the job centres aren't safe. That's true. Because we are being forced online. And here's another thing for you. Because we are being forced online, I now have a thing where they will do a video call 
Now getting back to what I was saying before. My eyes. Yeah, that and that. My eyes aren't the same. So here's the thing for you. As I said in my interview, which I still am waiting to hear about, I said to them about the fact that I get dots and this eye here, well this eye is not the same as that eye and that confused me for bloody years. It's called a stigma, stigmatism or stigma, something like that. It means this one is the shape of a rugby ball. Crazy that, isn't it? One's like a football, the other one's not. But it is what it is. And this is what I said in my interview. Now, so I've covered up to now um, I've covered the scoliosis, the arthritis, which is his travelled, yeah. The fact that my mother had rheumatoid arthritis. So there's three. Straight away. Straight off the bat. Yet I still play guitar. And I try to sing. As you will see in a few of my videos. Streets of Home. Who are our heroes? Will you take my hand? And a new song. The new song is Time is Running Out. And it's a world first. Now, like I said to the lady on that interview, I get migraines and I've had it where I was at work where I've had to key the pad, speak to control and say, I've got to come off. And I've had to go home and lie in a dark room for up to four hours. There's been some mornings where I knew I had a shift and got to bed, bang on time, woke up and it feels as though there's a, a meat skewer spinning with spikes right here. Now, here's the honest answer for you all who are watching this. I do seem normal, yeah? Just like you. However, it's the stuff you can't see. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you something. One of the other things which was mentioned in that video is this. Turn the plug off. them out of there see my xbox eats batteries there. it eats them for breakfast now what you're going to see is as i showed the woman that that's the bath now there is a shower 
Which is that? I don't like using the shower. But if it wasn't for this to help me to get up, I get to a certain point of holding that, and then I grab that, which is there, to pull myself up straight. And every single time on the floor, just there, I put a towel. Now here's the thing, right? I'm currently on a waiting list. Now that waiting list means that Nottingham's got two hospitals, QMC or City. Which they send me to, I'm not bothered. Really, I am not bothered. And what they're going to do is, my shoulders, they're going to a little incision and they're going to vacuum clean here and here. So that gets rid of one problem. But you already know of four problems. Correct? Or you, if you've got this far in the video, <laughs> you'll know about four problems. So the one thing they don't tell you at the job centre, they just they, they don't tell you. Because had they said this when I went to the job centre in July of 2018, that whatever's wrong with you, you must fill in a health section but they don't tell you this you're meant to know this <sighs> so as I said to my work coach I've said this a few times When the Conservatives were in power, way back in June, they were wanting to get as many people who wanted to work back into work. Now, Universal Credit gives you one amount for four weeks. What it doesn't give you at all is this. This t-shirt I'm wearing. Pink Floyd. Band I saw. In 1994. Beautiful. That memory will stay with me forever. But this t-shirt, well, it's four years old. Yeah. And the shoes I'm wearing, well, they're not shoes, they're trainers. I have, at this moment in time, I have four pairs of shoes. Those shoes were bought three years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying about universal credit. You see, I saw a thing by the Trussell Trust and they were talking about people like me. Now, they have helped me. I'm going to come to that in a second. So, the footwear I have, yeah? I've had them a number of years. And that was when I used to basically use the money from carers allowance to purchase them all together from M and 
N direct. And I got my mum some because of her feet and the problems. She never wore them. So I was disappointed. And I'm still wearing those from then. Now, the Trussell Trust, they do food banks all over the place. And the other day, I helped a person on TikTok who reached out because I was in another person's live. And there was four people in that live who wanted help. This person reached out and he thanked me because I gave him a number. He ran the number and he now has a food parcel. Now I've stopped using the food bank. And the reason why I've stopped using the food bank Shame. Yeah. Powerful and hard as it is. Now. I just get by. Because of the shame. Of. People talking about it. Even on here. People turn around and say, oh, you're using this and you're using that. The items I was using, including these two. Oh, yes. Sarah. Including them. That one is that. Well, it's there. So... From there to there. And that is to grow that. That one, the other one, is full. They were bought last year. So here's the point. There's a lot of people mock. A lot of people. Now, when I used to go up to St. James's Park and see these people, Adam Pearson, brilliant kid. P.D. Proudlock, brilliant kid. Needs help with his YouTube. Desperately. Um, Eddie H. Tyneside Life. Been interviewed by him a few times. John Sinclair, TV. He lives down in Gloucester area. Bristol and Gloucester. And Paul Ditchburn of the Toon Review. And a few others. Like Steve Hasty of Three Amigos and I miss it. I miss not being up to Newcastle for home games. And somebody pointed something out the other day of a video where Newcastle travelled down to the South Coast, a game against Bournemouth. Universal Credit does not give enough in benefit for me to attend games. It's a sad fact, but it's a true fact. Now, here's a thing for you. Very soon, there will be, on this channel, there will be 2,000 videos. Those videos will cover Newcastle United, music, 
until I can't do music anymore. They will do places and days out and they will do other things which I have to say at the beginning a financial disclaimer. So there's at least four things which will be on this channel. Anyway, thanks very much for sticking with me to this point. Yeah, it's long, 30 minutes. I could do longer. However, I thank you all and for certain information, check out Dirty Little Secrets, part one. And my hope is that I will get a positive response from the Department of Works and Pensions. Because what I spoke about in this video is permanent. Permanent. Yeah. I've got to live with that. And thanks for watching. Give me one of them. Subscribe and spread the word. Thanks for watching.